Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. So one of the things that has changed my life and transformed my life is reading the word of God. When you spend that time with God um, in his word, allowing him to speak to you um, and just really getting it into your spirit, it can totally transform your life. In my 20s, one thing I used to do or read was a daily dev devotional. And I used to read it from a website called BibleResources.org. Um, and shout out to Miss Betty Miller, who is the owner of uh, the website. I believe it's her and her husband. Um, and it totally transformed my mind, my spirit, everything in my 20s. And now that I'm 41... <laughs> I can't believe I'm 41, but now that I'm 41, um, I feel like I want to share this with everybody because I am doing my daily devotionals. I told you guys I was going to start showing up more on YouTube, sharing my knowledge, um, things that I feel like God has laid upon my heart. Um, and then all the stuff I know, all the stuff, right? Health, God first, health, wealth, happiness, all that good stuff, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get to the Bible reading, be the uh, daily devotional, because I have not done it yet today. Um, and so why not do it with you guys, okay? So today is um, October 28th. It's Monday. Happy Monday to everybody. Um, and let's go ahead and get into it. It's Proverbs. Every day it is a daily Proverbs along with um, a writing about it or a thought of the day. And then there is a prayer at the end. Okay. Um, and I invite you guys to do this with me. You know, you can either listen to me here, do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it daily or not, but I encourage you go to BibleResources.org. Such a wonderful thing that helped change my life. Okay. And transform my mind. The, the daily renewing of your mind, God's word, life transformed, period. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Proverbs, um, God's wisdom for is is the book of God's wisdom for daily living. Um, and then today's scripture is Proverbs 27, verses 5 and 6. It says, open rebuke, and this is the King James Version I'm going to read from first. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Proverbs uh, it's 27 verses 5 and 6. The Amplified Version says it like this. Open rebuke is better than love that is hidden. I'll say that one more time. Open rebuke is better than love that is hidden. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are lavish and deceitful. Mm, deep, right? Thought of the day. It is far better to receive the honest rebu rebuke of a friend than the insincere compliment of an enemy. True friends always desire the very best for us and are a gift from God. They love us at all times, even when we are not so lovely, and will stand with us through adversity. A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born of adversity. That's Proverbs 17, 17. They know us better than any acquaintance, for they see both our good and bad sides. Their speaking the truth when we need to hear it is a precious gift, which we could be foolish not to accept. Their correction may wound us. They say the truth hurts, right? The, their correction may wound us, but the, the, but this act of love can spare us trouble and pain in the future. Speaking the truth in love is a kindness that can keep us from going astray and help us to mature in Christ. And just a side note, how many of us have wanted to tell the one we love, our friends, the truth so bad? And it was like, oh, if I tell them this is going to upset them. But then out of love, you did it anyways. And it made an impact in their life, even if they were upset with you for a little while. Right? So sometimes we have to do that. And sometimes we have to receive that at the same time. Um, so here, let's see, where was I? Um, okay. Okay. So, so starting in that we henceforth be no more children, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. And that's Ephesians 4, 14 and 15. 
and I'll read it one more time, that we henceforth be no more children, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Okay. Maintaining friendship requires time to have friends. We must be friendly and nurture our friends with kindness. We see into the souls of our friends by spending time with them. Because the Lord Jesus is in the midst of us, there is a deeper dimension to our Christian friendships than with others. A friend in Christ is among God's greatest blessings. Proverbs 18.24 reveals that there is a friend that stays even closer to us than a brother. And that friend is Jesus. A man that hath friends must shew himself friendly, but there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Our friends and family will at times fail or disappoint us, even as we disappoint them, because we all sin and have limitations, every last one of us. The Son of God, however, is limitless in power and love. He will never fail us, no matter how badly we may fail him. Friendship with Jesus has no constraints. He is always here for us. And you, if you know him, you know that to be true. Every Christian can cultivate a relationship with Jesus Christ. Friendship, however, even with God, must work both ways. Because of his obedience, Abraham was known as a friend of God. How wonderful it would be to be known as a friend of God as Abraham was. There is only one way to become his friend, and that is by spending quality time with him. The most important thing that cements our friendship with God is obeying him. Our obedience demonstrates our faith, love, and commitment to him. If ye love me, keep my commandments. John 14, 15. Y'all spending time with God every day in his word, in prayer, all that good stuff. I mean, it just ugh, rocks my world and it should rock your world too. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. So let's get into the prayer devotional of the day. This is my favorite part in the reading of this daily devotional. Um, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being such a good friend to me. Lord, I desire to also be a good friend to those you have put in my life, Lord. May I be the kind of friend who will not shy away from speaking the truth in love when the occasion calls for it. May I also be mindful to encourage my friends to speak well of them and to always be there for them when they need me. Also, Lord, may I not neglect my friendships and take the time necessary to nurture them. And may you always be in the middle of them. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Amen, y'all. I hope that, that that word of the day, that Proverbs, that daily devotional spoke to you, that it got into your spirit, that it was a word that you needed to hear, that it edifies and builds you up. Um, and that's it for now. I'm just, I just wanted to share my daily devotional with you guys. Um, and I pray that you have a wonderful, blessed day. If you guys want to connect, make sure to drop down in the description below. You'll see all my socials, all the stuff I have going on. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's rock this world. Rock this way. Whatever. Bye.